So welcome back um, after a double lockdown. Here we are, excited and ready to go on uh, some adventures in on the fells. Um, but first, uh, what a great response we've had to the re little review of our little Monga tent. So we had a couple of questions, so we'd like to uh, answer those and then uh, and move on. We won't take too much of your time. So the first thing is the actual internal dimensions of the tent, as, lo as well as the vestibule. So the width of this tent is 1200, 1.2. It's like they meant it, isn't it? Um, the depth is 1960, so 1.96. And as you can see, we've got a double mat in here and there's plenty of space for it. And these, these mats are bigger than us. The vestibule, we found we could cook in it. We also found we're quite short, so we can just throw the rucksacks to the bottom of our uh, our tent. It's not a problem. But we did find that you could actually bob it behind the vestibule. But I'll just measure it. 750, so that's 750 millimeters, and obviously tapering down. So it's a triangle. Half the tent width depth. Yeah. Um, so that's it really, a few basic sizes. Um, we did test it out in the rain because we had heard mixed reviews. When we hiked with it last year during the, during the lockdowns, um, we got a lot of wind, uh, a little bit of rain, but not a lot. So just after Christmas when it snowed, followed by two weeks of rain, we kept this out here. This might look secluded, but we do get a lot of wind in this back garden for some reason, well, we're on a hill and uh, we left it out for two weeks, albeit we weren't in and out of the tent, we just left it. I just periodically came, had a little look, there was no leaks whatsoever. So I guess you should expect that with a double wall tent if you're not touching the sides. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely waterproof. How long that lasts, who knows, but like any other tent, um, over time it'll degrade no matter what materials it's made of. So yeah, if you like that, um, we're going to do some little bits of reviews. We're doing the Cleveland Way in four weeks, followed by the Dales Way, followed by the Pennine Way. So if you're interested to see how we get on, or what gear we use, um, then please do hit the likes button, <laughs> subscribe even. We'll, we'll just have some fun. And it's all our opinions, you know. Um, but sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong, which we did last year for sure. Um, but we've changed a bit of um, equipment move things around uh, we're not taking the kitchen sink this time it's <laughs> just far too heavy we were just i don't know what we were thinking we took every luxury with us and uh, we paid for it well my feet paid for it so uh, yeah if you're interested as i say subscribe you never know you might like uh, one or two of the uh, reviews that we do our sleep system's all new and we will be talking about doing a quick review on that straight away because it's there already so we're just going to pull it out do a quick review on our new sleep system that saved us half a kilogram um, between the two of us of course but we've saved half a kilo just moving about the things and the way that we're going to actually sleep um, so if you're interested in that that will follow a few days after this probably so that's it really see you again